How is the dating market in Dubai? I get this question a lot, and in this video, I'm gonna answer that question. As many of you know, I live in Dubai. I have now for about two years, and occasionally on my other channel, Sovereign CEO, where we talk about business, location, dependent income, and five flags, international lifestyle, and things like that. Guys will occasionally ask me in the comments about how is dating in Dubai, and I will repeatedly say, eh, it's not that great. If women are your priority, you should probably pick some other place. And all the time, guys are very interested in that answer and they want more details. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the details on why that is the case. Dubai is awesome for a certain category of person. I've said this many times over my other channel. I'll say it again here. Dubai is great. I love Dubai. It is a great place for me. It is not a great place for everyone. And a lot of people in my audience should never move to Dubai. Certainly want to visit Dubai, great place to visit. But you may not want to live here depending on your financial situation, what your goals are, your business goals, your lifestyle goals, various other things. The bottom line is that if your number one priority or one of your top priorities is dating women or hooking up with lots of women, there are much, much, much better places in the world to move to or spend time in than Dubai. You wanna go to somewhere like Brazil, Colombia, Thailand, various places in South America, various places in the Southeast Asia, for some certain types of guys, maybe some parts of Eastern Europe, but not Dubai if your priority is women. By the way, one of the many reasons why I chose to get married and settle down, alpha male 2.0 version of marriage, OLTR marriage, my version of marriage, the reason I chose to get that done before I left the collapsing United States and moved abroad is because I didn't want how good is the dating environment, how good are the women in terms of dating to be a factor in the country where I moved to. I wanted the least number of factors I had to wrestle with, so I want to remove that factor. I didn't want to have to move to another country and then figure out how to get a girlfriend or how to settle down or whatever. I'm not saying you need to do that, I'm just saying that was a factor for me and that's one of the reasons I did this. As always, I'm very strategic about my long-term decisions. After living in Dubai for two years and spending a lot of time in Dubai before those two years, I have heard many people here, men and women both, complain that dating is very difficult here and I'm about to give you all the reasons. Before I do that, if you like this content, dating multiple attractive women while having location independent income, leaving a free alpha male 2.0 lifestyle, you should subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, put a like on this video, leave a comment on this video, and that way you'll be sure to get this content for free in the future. Here are the reasons why dating in Dubai is not ideal and in no particular order. Item number one, Dubai is a transitory culture. The way Dubai works is that people from the Western world or other parts of the world will move here, work here for a few years, and then move back home. Most people who come here don't move here and plant themselves permanently like I'm doing. They generally don't do that. They come here for work because it's a zero tax environment here in Dubai, awesome, but they don't wanna spend their lives here, so they spend a few years here, and then they go back to the UK or back to Germany or back to China or back to wherever. So what happens then if you start dating a woman and you start liking her and then she has to move back home? Uh-oh, problem. So it's not ideal or not conducive to longer-term relationships. Now you may say, hey, Caleb, I don't care about long-term relationships. I want a bunch of one-night stands and short-term relationships, that's fine with me. All right, let's get to the next several reasons. Reason number two, dating in Dubai is difficult, is that Dubai Dubai is a very high SMV culture. Women here are more sensitive to a man's SMV, sexual marketplace value, if you didn't know what that meant, than in other cities. The dating environment here is very similar to cities like Los Angeles, where if you date a girl or try to date a girl, especially if she's pretty, She's gonna look at how much money you make. What do you do for a living? What kind of car do you drive? How cool is your apartment? What part of the city do you live in? She's gonna pay attention to these things in ways that most other women in most other cities aren't gonna give a shit about. This ratchets up the difficulty level of dating here casually or seriously a little more than in other countries or other cities. Now, of course, if you are already very wealthy, you should come to Dubai right now and live here. Uh, I do pretty well financially. That's one of the reasons I'm here is to benefit from the zero tax environment here. And it's also true that if you're really, really, really good looking, maybe you can offset some of this. That's true. But if you're the typical normal guy, and most of you are, then that's gonna make things more difficult here. Is it impossible to date in Dubai? Of course not. Do I know guys who do that here and do well? Yes, I do. I'm just saying it's harder for that reason. Reason number three that dating in Dubai can be difficult is that Dubai is somewhat expensive in terms of going out. Are there cheap places to go out and eat and hang out and drink in Dubai? Absolutely, that is the case. But if you're dating, especially if it's more traditional dating, where the girl's looking at you and how well you're gonna treat her and how much money you make and all that stuff, 
stuff. If you go to somewhere that's even reasonably nice, it's going to cost you a lot of money. It's going to cost a lot more in terms of food, dinner, drinks, events. That stuff can be very expensive in Dubai. Again, it raises the difficulty bar that you would have in places like Chiang Mai or Medellin, Colombia, places that are very inexpensive where their women are hot and they don't really care about how much money you make or care much less. You see my point? Reason number four, and this is an interesting one, and I didn't really pick up on this one until I actually moved here and spent some real time here, talked to a lot of men and talked to a lot of women about this. And that is, there are a lot of difficult men in Dubai, which creates an environment of jaded, picky women. What do I mean by this? In Dubai, and I'm about to generalize, this is not always true of all men in Dubai, but in Dubai, there are a lot of men in these two categories. The first category are hyper-confident, super player, ultra alpha male 1.0, Andrew Tate type guys who are total players. They come off as total players. They're very aggressive. They'll hit on married women. They'll hit on women with girlfriends and they don't care. And they come off very aggressive, borderline scary sometimes. You have those guys hitting on a lot of women here. The other category of men are the weird, creepy beta males who do stuff like if they see a girl at a mall they like, they'll just start following her around. Really weird and creepy. If they hit on her, they do it in a very creepy, weird, uncalibrated way. They just do a bunch of weird, creepy stuff that scares women here. When you add these two categories of men together, women here, especially the attractive ones, encounter a lot of strangeness in Dubai in terms of getting hit on by men or getting leered at by men or followed around by men or harassed by men. Not necessarily harassed, but you get my point. And that means that these women have their shields up when you go talk to them. So if you're a normal, nice guy, and you go talk to a woman who has had these experiences with both these categories of men, her ASD, her shields, her difficulty level in terms of bringing her shields down and relaxing with you are a little higher. That requires more game, that requires more confidence, that requires more time, and that requires more woman experience. Now again, if you are very, very woman experienced, like I am, you'll probably do okay. But the vast majority of you asking, hey, I'm gonna go to Dubai, how's the women there? Is dating good there? Probably aren't in that category. Or if you are, you wouldn't wanna put in that kind of work if you move to places like Southeast Asia, South America, and Eastern Europe. To be clear, I am not saying that dating in Dubai is impossible. I'm gonna say that again. I've seen it done. You can do it. It is certainly possible. I'm just saying that if, when you look abroad at places to move to or spend a lot of time in, and one of your top, top priorities is dating women, there are lots of good places in the world that are much easier for you, where the women are plenty attractive for you, that are much easier than in a place like Dubai. Dubai is a place for guys like me, higher income, self-employed guys who are focused on business, taxes, travel, investments, and economic factors rather than dating or lifestyle factors. Now, if dating women is not one of your top priorities and you are interested in Dubai, I suggest, strongly suggest, you watch this video on my other channel right now, and those are the top 10 reasons why I chose Dubai as a place to live. I'll see you in that video.